Hi, here's Bart Taylor. And this is Matt Art. Welcome back. Today we're going to show you part two of how to winterize the plumbing system of your RV using the antifreeze method. Once again, if you choose to winterize the plumbing system yourself, you will need a few tools and supplies in approximately two hours of time. And let's face it, nobody likes frozen water lines. <laughs> <laughs> the RV antifreeze method uses RV approved non-toxic potable antifreeze to protect the system from freezing temperatures. You may need to pick up up to six gallons depending on your unit. Do not use automotive antifreeze. Once again, don't use automotive antifreeze. <laughs> no, it's poisonous and not for use in potable water systems. Next, drain the water. Remove the low point drain caps for the water lines and open all the faucets and outside shower if equipped to allow the lines to drain. Open the drain valve for the fresh water tank and allow it to drain completely. Verify the water heater is turned off on both gas and electric. Remove the water heater drain plug and open the pressure relief valve to let air in the tank and allow it to drain. If your unit is equipped with a tankless water heater, please refer to your operator's manual for the winterization procedure. If you have a water filter, remove and discard the water filter cartridge. Drain the water from the base and reinstall. If equipped with cartridge type filters, insert the bypass tube. Turn the water heater bypass valves to the bypass position. The bypass valves are located on the water lines entering the back of the water heater. Depending on the model of RV you own, you may have to remove an access panel to reach the bypass valves. The easiest way to locate the bypass valves is to locate the water heater on the outside of the RV. The bypass valves will be located on the back side of the water heater on the inside of the unit or in the basement or storage compartment. If your RV has a residential refrigerator, the ice maker water line should not be winterized with antifreeze. Simply drain the line along with the rest of the water lines, then close the valve, but do not add antifreeze. Install a bypass hose on the suction side of the water pump and pull directly from the antifreeze container. This will save several gallons of antifreeze and eliminate the extra work of rinsing it back out of the fresh water tank in the spring. Your RV dealer can provide you with the necessary hose and fittings to do this. Some RVs may be equipped with a pump bypass. In that case, simply locate the loose end of the bypass hose and put it in the jug of antifreeze. Turn the bypass valve handle to align with the bypass hose. If using city fill, be sure to reverse the screen wash to depress the check valve at the city fill. As an alternative, if you cannot bypass the pump, you can use this method. Once the water has drained from the fresh water tank, close the drain valve and pour at least four gallons of RV non-toxic antifreeze into the fresh water tank to fill the tank enough to allow the water pump to draw the antifreeze. Use of a long funnel may be helpful. Add more antifreeze as needed to keep the level above the minimum operating level. It helps to slope the unit towards the suction side of the tank. Once all the water is drained from the fresh water lines, reinstall the low point drain caps and close the faucets and any valves open in the fresh water system. Turn on the pump switch and open the cold water side of the faucets one at a time until antifreeze comes out. Then repeat for the hot water side. Remember to do the same for the outside shower or kitchen if you have one. Flush the toilet until antifreeze begins to flow into the bowl and allow about one quart of antifreeze to go down the toilet to winterize the black tank. Leave a small amount of antifreeze in the toilet to cover the seals. If equipped with a washer hookup, follow these steps. If there is a washer hooked up, turn the washing machine on to the fill cycle using a cold water setting until antifreeze appears. Then repeat using a hot water setting until antifreeze appears. If there is no washer hooked up, Open the cold, then hot valves until antifreeze appears. Pour about one quart of RV antifreeze into each drain and P-trap. Don't forget the washer drain if equipped. It's recommended to close the drains for the fresh water tank and water heater to keep critters out of your fresh water system. Congratulations, you've successfully winterized your RV. For further questions regarding your water system, please refer to your Keystone Owner's Manual contact your dealer, or give us a call at 866-425-4369. We're always happy to help. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos to come.